Okay, so this is what I've got uh, from the back, and I can see uh, all the details have been transferred to here. I can see how this here is uh, done here. Uh, so if you run into an issue where you see that uh, some of these uh, textures are bleeding into each other, so if I select this, and you can see after the UVs, you see some bleed outside uh, the UVs. Uh, that is added by this, uh, if you go under bake settings, under render settings, uh, you see this margin uh, set to 16 pixels. If it's set to 16 pixels, you might find that uh, uh, this bleed here will go over the other UVs. Like, uh, let me see if I can select, if I can show you this. Anyway, yeah, so if you just see this going on, overlapping with other uh, islands, just reduce the margin here at something like uh, two or three pixels or whatever works for you and uh, see how uh, that goes. Yeah, so I was running into that issue and I just changed uh, the margin here and uh, that fixed it. So uh, you also need that uh, bleed that to have some extra texture space after your UV islands. Uh, so you can have at least three pixels as uh, to have that so that your UVs don't go. Uh, so that when, when you're baking out uh, the, uh, the map, it adds some extra texture space uh, for you. So yeah, let's bake uh, the ambient occlusion. I've already saved this, did I? Save, uh, oh, make sure you save it. I'll save it as cavity, cavi cavity map. Uh, you can save it as a JPEG and then save us. Uh, what, the other thing I, I changed before I baked is that I increased the resolution of the image uh, to 2048 by 2048. Uh, by default, it's always 1028, 1024 by 1024, uh, but uh, that was not enough resolution to capture uh, those uh, small details. You can see even these are uh, not very well captured uh, the resolution is still small uh, but uh, I think that the reason for that is that uh, uh, my UV space is not really optimized uh, used effectively because you can see I have a lot of space where I could have increased uh, the size of these uh, small elements but uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, those elements are also small on this uh, object let me see the size of this I think that's enough it shouldn't matter that much. So yeah, let's bake out uh, the ambient occlusion. Uh, again, we're going to use the same steps. I, uh, uh, But uh, instead, we're not going to use this part here. We can delay uh, that. So let's add input ambient occlusion for the ambient occlusion. Uh, we can go to material mode, preview this node here can see this is our ambient occlusion. Uh, we can make it more powerful by adding a power, a math node, change the operation to power. I think that's good enough. Uh, we need to fit this into the color map and uh, fit, uh, make sure you're previewing this node here can see the shortcuts I'm using there. So this is our ambient occlusion. And uh, there is an option to bake, uh, to bake uh, the ambient occlusion directly here. But uh, it won't, you won't have uh, the same control uh, that you have uh, from this. So if, if you wanted to make it as powerful as this, uh, you don't really have that control. I think if you go under, is it world settings? Yeah, if you go under here, uh, you can control it directly here. Uh, but, uh, or you can just bake it as a, as a diffuse, as a diffuse map, and uh, it will basically give you the same results. Uh, but uh, uh, the, one, the reason I'm doing it like this is that uh, because uh, it gives me this control, extra control 
uh, that's why I'm going to bake it as a diffuse color or you can just bake it as as ambient occlusion using the big type of ambient occlusion but uh, I'm just going to bake it as diffuse uh, to get the same result uh, but uh, with this uh, small alteration here so yeah again you need another image you need an image I'm going to use the same cavity image that uh, we used so texture image I will load in I will call it back uh, so it will be replacing uh, this here uh, but because I saved a copy of this as cavity I won't be replacing replacing this I won't be saving over this uh, because this is going to be a different image uh, the reason I'm working I'm doing this this way I'm doing this uh, like this is because I don't want to go back and uh, make another texture rename it and uh, do that steps so instead I'm just overwriting this and then saving that that copy yeah, so we are done with that so let's bake the ambient occlusion so I'll go to you this uh, make sure you have everything selected and uh, we can hit bake so I'll get back and uh, after this is done uh, for you to so that I can show you uh, the final results for that thank you